data has become one of the most valuable assets in the world. I'm here at the Huawei IDI Forum to discover how this global tech giant can help enterprises with their innovative and intelligent data storage products and solutions. Huawei is developing towards new data, new apps, and new resilience. In a world where data is king, let's have a look around and discover what they have to offer. Zhao Ba, let's go. Hi. Hi. How are Alice. you today? I'm doing well. Thank you. Okay. Alice. So, so I'm here at the Huawei IDI Forum and I would love to understand more about storage. How is helping enterprises do better? Okay, so let me firstly introduce our Ocean Store Pacific scale out architecture, which we designed to embrace the new workload of the Ute Byte era. So you see that we are encountering a lot of challenges from the new era. So we improved the data storage with the hybrid workload efficiency, which is achieved by the multi protocol interworking uh, seamlessly. And also the simplified data management, which includes the feature for scaling out architecture, data reduction, and data tiering. And also the data resilience, which to protect the data from ransomware attraction and improve the business continuity. And let me also introduce our hardware design, which is specifically for high density. So this one is our all flash module 9950, which is for performance module and uh, working in the to prove the performance for hot data. And uh, this is our 9550 module, which is the most the highest density in the industry, and it just uh, contains 120 disks in a single chassis, and uh, to provide a huge amount of capacity to the application layer. And you know that it's going to be a very big challenge for the design of high density hardware. So cooling system is one of the biggest considerations. So we designed a counter rotating fan to cool the system even better. So you know that the fan was originally designed for the air, airlines and for the planes, and uh, this is use, we are using it to cool down the system from internal. We are also introducing a new product called the Data Turbo, which is the cache layer in between the computing nodes and uh, the storage system. Not only that the storage system contains the hot data, worn data, and cold data, uh, sometimes when we are working in the high-scale computing cluster, we will need the data to be accelerated even more. Hence, we are introducing this Data Turbo product, which can optimize the scientific research efficiency even better. You see that we have uh, different research in HPC, big data, AI, and in this kind of application, uh, Data Turbo can always work with the application layer to accelerate the data loading even more. And this is an example for the financial industry. And we see that we have some customers in the, in the financial industry and they have different data centers globally. We are supporting them with the multi uh, DR site protection and we have the EB level support during with the different sites and we support the multi-active DR protection for the data. And this is also an example for medical imaging. You see that for some uh, hospital customers, they, uh, for example, Raging Hospital, it's a very large comprehensive hospital in Shanghai. And they were encountering the challenge of the, uh, uh, their pathology system being too slow to meet the requirements of large amount of patients. Well, it's, it gets freezed all the time so that it's impacting the diagnosis for the doctors. So we improved the situation by using Ocean Store Pacific as the uh, storage pool to support the high performance and uh, lower cost. So uh, with the support of, of high performance, they can achieve the performance of concurrent retrieval 
of over 1,000 images without freezing. So this is tremendously improving the doctor's diagnosis for the patients. This is extremely powerful and this is what I love about exhibitions like this, coming and actually seeing hand to hand how a product and a solution actually operates before enterprises can make the choice of what solution is for them. And here we are guys, as you can see at the Huawei IDI exhibition, we're learning about storage, we're learning about container, we've been learning about medical imaging, and now I'm heading over to speak to Cindy, who is going to be talking to me about container storage solutions. Hi Cindy, how are you today? Fine. Nice Thank, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for showing us about the container storage solution, which is so important for enterprises to understand why they need these products and solutions. So please, can you give us an update on what are you guys doing in the storage and container department? Okay, great. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Cindy and I'm the chief expert of Huawei Enterprise Storage Solutions. So today I'm gonna, you know, with this slide here, I'm gonna share some of the updates or highlights of our container storage solution. Actually, uh, I think there are four major highlights. The first one is efficiency. Uh, by that, I, uh, what I want to say is because we have noticed that the number of uh, uh, containers has greatly outpassed that of uh, VM, uh, virtual machines. Therefore, how to quickly and efficiently support the you know the deployment, the deletion of the of the containers is very important. Also, with with the storage infrastructure. Therefore, we uh, ma uh, we optimize the uh, REST API efficiency by 100% and so that we can support large-scale container platform deployment. And the second thing I want to say is performance, because you know, uh, wherever uh, or whenever performance is always important. And for container storage, that is also the case. Therefore, we are uh, here by proposing our high-performance NAS. Of course, we also have the solution for SAM, but with NAS, the expansion is much easier. So, uh, therefore, we think NAS is a, a more appropriate or optimal solution for container storage. And our NAS surpasses the industry uh, peer vendors by over 30%. And also, we can achieve a very efficient scale up or scale down with our NAS infrastructure. Yeah, and the third point I want to say is on disaster recovery, because we we have noticed that a lot of customers they have moved their mission critical uh, applications to container platforms, and then after that they will you know you, you need to ensure the that data is always safe, always protected. Therefore, we are now uh, proposing this application aware backup software called uh, CDR, Container Disaster Recovery, which can also do the in cluster and cross. Cl cluster uh, disaster recovery, including uh, synchronous replication, asynchronous replication, active-active production. Yeah, and uh, so that we can provide, you know, enterprise level disaster recovery and data protection solution for uh, Kubernetes platforms. And the last but not the least point is we, we think uh, security is also very important for the enterprise applications. And by security, on the first hand, we think isolation is very important. Therefore, we are uh, proposing this multi-tenancy structure, you know, for uh, the Kubernetes platforms. You know, you can uh, separate or isolate different clusters or different namespaces with uh, the different te uh, tenants on storage uh, devices. And at the same time, uh, with our uh, storage device, we have a lot of security functions such as encryption, anti-ransomware, and uh, uh, you know, we have antivirus, we have warm, a lot of security features, which will all help uh, our customers, you know, better protect their data after they move data to Kubernetes platforms. Thank you so much, Cindy. And this was one of the reasons why I wanted to understand more about container storage. During one of the media tables, Dr. Peter Zhu spoke about container and kind of left me wanting more. So thank you so much, Cindy, for explaining to us the power of container storage solution. My pleasure. Where shall we go next?
I think uh, since I've just mentioned about security, how about uh, we go to the another booth about anti-ransomware? Good that idea. Is, well, a lot. So uh, yeah. Let's okay, go. Okay, so let's go. So this is our uh, ransomware protection solution. So explain to us, as we all know, ransomware protection, there has been a lot of cyber threats over the last few years and data is hard to always keep up with the solutions and how do we keep up with the new threats that are coming up, especially on the last years. So tell us how the ransomware protection storage solution of Huawei can help enterprises be safer and more efficient. Yeah, okay. And so actually uh, in many uh, customers the traditional uh, opinions, they think security is more about network, less about data. But you know, recent, in recent years, because the value of data has increased, so the hackers, they have start to put their, shift their attention to data itself, in, in not, not just a network. And uh, that is one of the, uh, uh, I should say, the strong points of storage, because storage has always been known as the last defense of uh, data security, because it is the, at the very core of your data center, right? And for storage, uh, on storage device, I think there are two things we should focus on. The first one is, detection. That is, we can quickly and efficiently and accurately detect all the attacks, you know, in time so that we will know when the bad guys come. And the other thing, most important thing is uh, recovery because we have all the data with storage and we, 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 we should help customers, you know, to reduce the RPO and RTO. Yeah, well, once it comes to data recovery. Therefore, in our solution, we focus first on accurate identification. Actually, we have this built-in machine learning algorithms to help us detect, you know, the, um, the attacks, uh, you know, on the uh, entropy, on the snapshot, we do snapshot comparison, we do uh, a lot of machine learning you know, within the storage devices to help us achieve up to three nines of identification accuracy. And the other important thing is about recovery. And in terms of recovery, we think uh, it's not just uh, recover on one storage device. Actually, we think uh, recovery should be available from both our production storage, our backup storage, and our air-gapped storage. Uh, I, I, I will go into details. First, for production storage, storage, we have this function called secure snapshot, which means you can take a, just a, a s simple snapshot, but it cannot be uh, deleted. So with that, uh, you can just quickly recover your business with a simple click. Yeah, and uh, our algorithm will help identify which snapshot is the clean one and is the closest to clean one so that you can use that one to recover business. And the density of our snapshot can be as short as three seconds. Yeah, this is uh, what you can do on production storage. And then with backup storage, well, uh, you know, most customers, they do backup like day on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's like 24-hour uh, RPO. But on our backup storage, the, its um, major advantage is high performance. We can do the recovery by up to 172 terabyte per hour. That's really very quick, and uh, so that you can shorten, you know, the time to recovery for your business. And in addition to that, we also offer the the last line that is we have this air gap zone or isolation zone where you can put an extra storage device there and then break down the replication link between your production zone and your isolation zone. In case there is an attack to your production zone, you can always use the clean data in the isolation zone for backup. Yeah, uh, so much is about the highlights of our uh, ransomware protection solution. Thank you so much, Cindy. And it's exactly like I was saying at the beginning, that we are in a world where data is king. And this is why I wanted to understand how we can actually protect the data, and especially for enterprises. Because just like Peter Zhu said yesterday, and like you've said, normally it's the last line of defense sometimes, and people don't always think about these solutions, but it is extremely important that companies and tech giants such as Huawei continue to provide products and solutions that help enterprises be safer. So thank you so much, Cindy, for showing me around at the Huawei IDI Forum.
on their ransomware. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was a pleasure. And there we have it. Intelligent data storage is the ideal choice for enterprises. Huawei has a full series of products and solutions to help achieve that. Between the exhibition showcase and the keynotes we have listened to, I learned that the key is to unlock the value of data towards the evolution of the data storage industry. New data paradigms are being created and working with partners is key to this evolution. I look forward to seeing how the C-level and decision makers in the industry embrace the power of the right data storage because enterprises are now investing more on storage to protect their multi-cloud strategies. I'm Elise Quevedo, I'm from the Huawei IDI Forum, I say, until next time.